Hey, Rob here, taking a poll via YouTube. Do you think Miley Cyrus is going to heaven, or do you feel Miley Cyrus is going to hell? Give me your comments below. And before you say, well, Rob, you're an out of, an out of touch, old, relatable fart. This is what I looked like when I was many years age. That wasn't me. That, that was me, friends. I used to play guitar in a lot of metal bands in the 80s. I was in a band from Holland, and did the hair band days, the makeup, the, oh God, it was, I would have, thank God for Jesus, man. I'm a minister of the gospel, by the way, and my opinion of Miley, is she going in eternity in heaven or hell? I don't know. I'm not her judge. You're not her judge. Only God is her judge, and really, God desires everybody to spend eternity with him in heaven. Certainly, you don't want to spend eternity in hell as they're fire in hell, or they're demons in hell, absolutely. Am I trying to scare the hell out of you? Hopefully. And, you know, eternity is without measure. You will never die. I will never die unless someone out there has found the fountain of youth. And, you know, one thing about, unless you're immortal also, one thing I found out about God, that he's, God desires to live in the center of your life, in the center of your heart. And the only way he can have that plan fulfilled is he has to have an invitation simply because the Lord will never not crash or blow the door down to your heart. You know, God, God's not a party crasher. God didn't create robots. God gave you a free will. So you can accept Christ out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. In other words, we're the ones that control the doorknob to our heart. And I promise you this, once you open the door of your heart just to crack, the Lord will come in with his great grace, mercy, compassion, kindness, most of all, there's irrevocable, unconditional love. And you know, the Bible's very clear about the love of God. It says in the book of John in the New Testament in the Bible. By the way, if you own a Bible that has dust on it, get the dust off it. It does you no good if it, you don't read it, obviously. But in the New Testament, in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, simply states, For God so loved the world, he gave as a gift his only Son, that if you would believe receive, accept, surrender your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, you would never perish. You'd have everlasting and eternal life. And you know, God desires no one to perish once again. He wants us all to have the insurance that when we take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven a home. And the only way, once again, we can have that by having our lives surrendered and submitted to Jesus Christ. And you desire to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus Thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Let me pray for you as a minister. Father, I ask you to touch, bless, fill everybody with your love, your presence, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Also under the search, Rob would want to add many of the ministry videos where I do elaborate, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Friends, Christ loves you. Go with Jesus. He'll never fail. You be blessed.